All right. Lockdown stream number two. Let me know if the sound quality is all right. I had to um, switch audio interfaces actually. Hopefully that hasn't interfered with anything. Uh, yeah, still in lockdown, believe it or not. <laughs> So I've got one standard drink here, quite literally. Let's open it up and cheers to those who are drinking. Right, so this took a little bit of uh, setting up to say the least. But, but I think it's going to be fun. Um, so a few different things to say about this setup. As you can see, do I have a pointer? No. Unigen, you never have a pointer. As you can see in the top right, um, all, all the cards are being utilized. So that's point. No so the bench I'm going for is, is three-way superposition. So let's start like that. Three-way superposition, for those who are unfamiliar, this is it. There are only 15 scores so far, one of them being mine with, you know, just a joke set up, GTX 480, I don't even remember that. Uh, let's just make sure that The announcement went out and all that. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is April 2018. So that's a while ago, to put it mildly, uh, on a Threadripper, Threadripper 1900X. Uh, so is this XOC? Yeah, the stream bot still works. That's good. Uh, yeah. All right, so I should so that's a 7724. I should show you my best score so far. I, I didn't do all that much, but I had an 8. Oh, what's weird with these? So I'm getting some... Um, saving stuff on the desktop, I'm getting some corruption. So that's not good. So I need to um, sort of remember that and maybe save el elsewhere. Uh, so that's issue number one. But I can show you on my spreadsheet so this is what i i don't actually remember the average because that corrupted as well but so memory overclock only gave me a 7790 and then a bit of core and a bit of memory gave me 8442 so before i go more into it let's maybe apply an overclock that's a little bit better than that so we can do um 25 megahertz steps I think is reasonable. So this is my previous one. So 11.25. Ah, okay, that didn't, didn't like it. Okay, so back, <laughs> this is crazy, CPUs at 1.82. Um, back to this ranking. So we basically have all ambient, um, ambient results here. Um, so I'm currently slotted. I don't haven't subbed my result, and I don't know if this <laughs> screenshot is even val is even um, viewable anymore. But I can. I feel like I'm really low down, <clears throat> as I used to say in school. Sit up. Um, so I think uh, this Nazar guy is manageable, even though fifteen twenty. What's Maybe that's the way I should start is by not that that profile has very much in it, but yeah, that's that Nazar guy. So there's, there's good, good globals here. So maybe what I should also show is that with the dropping of W prime globals and what's the other bench I got dropped this year. Um, Okay, this camera is starting to annoy me, so. <laughs> I can be like a real streamer now with the with the microphone in the in the um, view. 
So let's go down to points. It was, um, what was the, God damn it, what was the other bench I got dropped? Three mic of, of five, maybe, something like that. Um, my globals that are counting towards the ranking, they drop off very considerably. Like an uh, old LN2 score for eight core, 4K is still being counted here. Um, so yeah, I can easily improve by just putting up a 30 pointer basically. How does that look? So a 30 pointer would give me 10 more points, just out of curiosity. I'm quite, ooh, yeah, that would be dark rare, nice. And it can't really be filtered down here, but if I go into, uh, is it overclocker league? Hmm. Yeah, so elite ranking wise, I'm fourth for this year for seasonal. I'm fourth behind the usual suspects, but actually uh, in this career ranking, which somehow it doesn't sort of filter here, that's a bug. But if you just imagine the extremes are gone, so I'm 17th overall, soon to be 16th, hopefully. But if you just look at elites, big block is ninth. Uh, sorry, Big Block is, is eighth, Dan Cup is ninth, and then Alex Zaro is tenth. So it'd be cool to in the career ranking, which you can't really see here, but yeah, so see Alex Alex Rowe is tenth. Be cool to this is the the top, I mean the most visible ranking, the most hi Doug Greg. <laughs> I'm just talking about you. Sorry. Um yeah, um that's a nice coincidence. No bad feelings, hopefully. Um in this career elites only ranking, I'm currently 11th, and it's the first things that you see on the website. So it'd be nice to to overtake Alex Rowe, who is a little bit um, kind of inactive, semi inactive at the moment. So that's that's the reason I've seen scores um, on the front page a few times now that are in this uh, superposition three way. Unfortunately. So what I've got in the system now is, um, yes, what I have is a Lightning and a 295X2. And for four-way, the same thing applies, right? Four, four um, R9200 series cards also do really well, but I don't have a second 295X2. Um, and I don't want to mess around with three cards. This was hard enough to set up. The first question you'll probably ask me is, why the fuck is the 295X2 on the bottom slot? Well, what's the goal? Um, yeah, maybe let's just go back to that. So superposition, first of all, you can always find out what bench I'm running by going hashtag or exclamation point rig. So it will tell you engine superposition. Um, but, uh, what I'm going to target specifically is the three way globals category, um, in the 1080p extreme preset, because I already have an 8.4 K score. So I'm already fourth. I just haven't subbed it. And I think I can get this Nazar guy. And then Ovis is probably going to be hard to beat because it seems to me that they're on three, uh, hi Shmomo. Hey Ginger, how are you doing? Lucky bugger out of out of lockdown already. So in in Sydney where I am, they have already announced another four weeks of lockdown. So it's going to be a total of nine weeks of lockdown at the very minimum. So this is um, you're my entertainment, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, so what uh, I wanted to look at what their actual okay. So fifteen twenty GP. Oh, it's RX. Okay. So this is an on an RX 580. That's why the clocks are different. But everything else is on a 200 series. Freedom, exactly. So Ovis, maybe, maybe they have a 295X2 in their rig. Is there a screenshot? No. Um, but Royal Air, Royal Maroc is definitely three discrete cards. Let's, yes, see, three discrete cards. So. 
basically the theory crafting of multi-weight um, GPUs is if you don't have to, well, all other things being equal, you want as few cards as possible. So if you can run four way as in this example, two 295X2s instead of like, let's say two 290Xs and one 295X2 or four 290Xs, then that's what you should run because the lower latency ends up with higher scores in most benchmarks, generally speaking, higher scores at the same clocks. But in terms of actual how the cards clock, a 295X2 is likely to clock worse than, for example, a matrix. Uh, are these matrixes? It's hard to know when they're under, under blocks like that. Uh, no, they're Azus, so they're like, sorry, I was thinking of lightnings, but they're actually probably lit matrixes. So what I was trying to say is 1240, I mean, 1550 RAM, I think some 295X2s can do, but 1240 through Unigen in a crossfire setup, a 295X2 will not do. Maybe 1150 or something. So basically, in terms of pure clocks, and then in the 1625, that also points to, because there was only ever a, a, a reference PCB. Um, by the way, um, Ginger, I'm having one standard drink, literally. So cheers. So the 295X2, there was only ever a reference PCB. And as far as I'm aware, there was only ever one um, memory IC manufacturer uh, white shark, nothing at all. I'm running completely stock CPU. The only thing I'm doing is disabling hyper threading to, I don't know, just because why not? Um, now I will look at C system memory. I think actually, if you do a nice um, CL12 setup, can be quite good. Can can give you a few points, but um, CPU, um, actual CPU clocks. I'm running um, totally stock, which I think is 3.8 gigahertz. Uh, I'll just double check now. Yeah, 3.8. I haven't bothered to even increase that yet. So um, let's go to our 295X2. Yes, so Hynix, that's the point I'm making. So on the memory side, typically your Hynix, but also the fact that you have worse VRMs, you know, a Lightning will have just better filtering and all kinds of stuff. But uh, also because of the IC, um, what, what we're seeing here in this ranking, this 1625 memory, a 295X2 will not do that. 1189, maybe if you set the chiller low enough and you push the core volts and stuff, but 1240. So that's why I'm saying I, I just want a solid score, maybe even like a 9000 if I really get, can find some tweaks, but certainly I want to be able to beat Nazar. So after all of that preamble, um, one thing with clocking the cards that I've noticed is somehow I can't, in this, in this current Crossfire setup, I can't set 1500 memory. But what I can do is uh, I can do 1450. I mean, I think I d just saved that, uh, that profile and f forgot that I had saved it the profile that didn't work the previous time I applied it. Um, but I'm liking that shadow, by the way. Do you like that shadow on the wall? It's very, it's, you know, the of the desk lamp. It's very like 1930s German impressionistic, don't you think? No, uh, anyway, um, while we're looking at our rig, so um, it's a dark. So there's a reason to almost everything that I'm doing here. So. We're on X299 because there you get the the extra lanes. So on, let's say like Z590 Tachyon, you're limited to eight and eight. Here you, even though my system, to be fair, to be brutally honest, isn't currently um, detecting 1212. So you see at the top here, for some reason, the primary is running at eight and the secondary is running at 16. But, but the idea is uh, with the slots I'm using, I should be able to do 1616, which to, 
again lowers the latency and again typically in a 3d bench in a multi-card setup like this x299 will score better than z590 or am4 so that's why i'm on the dark i'm on the 14 core because um they have more pcie lanes i don't know if my eight core might have done for this two two card setup but i just didn't want to chance anything with hampering it for no reason uh, like i said the cpu itself doesn't matter it's just whatever the platform can can bring you um and why <laughs> want to become famous well fuck you i'm a cleric <laughs> only I could spell that person's name does that work yeah wrong there we go so for some reason with these particular cards in the this particular configuration um, I mean usually what you want is you want the dual GPU as the display out and you want it in the top slot but for some reason, this system didn't want to post with um, the dual card in the top slot and display out, neither with the dual card in the top slot and display out on the secondary card. So then the next thing I tried was, um, like in order of preference, what would, I mean, all things being perfect or all other things being equal, what would score the best is dual card top slot and display out. Um, Next would probably be dual card in the second slot, but display out in the top card, which is what I've got now. So from what I've done in the past, again, it doesn't always universally apply. Your worst scoring configuration is always gonna be with the display out in the lowest slot, especially on a system that's more starved like uh, Z590. But since the very best configuration didn't work, the next best thing was this. I really don't know why it didn't work. Um, I keep on calling them matrixes. Lightning cards can be quite picky about being the display card. So in a mixed configuration like this, they don't like being the secondary card. But obviously, if you have two lightnings, then it's fine. You can just swap them around and always have top card as the display card. So that's why I'm set up like this. I also had issues with dropping RAM channels. So the inside right RAM channel was dropping. So I had to do a lot of like mounting pressures, tweaking, but everything's working now. I have quad channel. I have all the cards working. Um, yeah, so let's go get going. So here I was thinking there might be a new viewer, but it just ended up being a bot. Story of my life. <laughs> yeah, so we've now got um, the army, the Australian army, uh, deployed to the streets of Sydney to enforce the lockdown because the numbers are not getting better. Fun times. Fun times, guys. And yeah, got a weekend ahead with... Um, what am I allowed to do? I'm allowed to... I mean... Basically, what what are the reasons to leave the house? Go to the supermarket, um, a little bit of outdoor exercise. That's it. That's all I'm allowed to do, basically. All right. So we've got a borked profile. Uh, that worked last time, actually. So why? Let's do on in synchronized and apply the lightning only. What is that? What is that? Why? It's almost like cold slow. I don't get it. <laughs> the thumbs up. I don't know what, you, what you're thumbing up to, but yeah. Um, I'm glad I got this rig running. Oh, I've got more, even more story time. So <laughs> It's like 17 different stories just about how does this rig got running at stock settings. Woo. Um, so I got a new PSU. So I actually was about to do this stream earlier on the week, but I realized I didn't have enough PSUs anymore. I actually just chucked out three PSUs. 
and they keep dying on me. I don't know why. Martial law, yeah. So for the longest time, this HX 1050 was my primary benching PSU, but I think it was holding me back for some of the Y Cruncher stuff on the big rig platform. So I decided to splash out and get a, a HX 1200i, which is in the main now. So finally now with this, um, can you see this? With this SLI adapter from eBay, I don't know if you can see it, which lets you daily chain PSUs. It's a perfect setup. So I have one card on the on the backup PSU and the whole system plus one card on the main PSU. Oh, where's Alien? Oh, really important. There we go. Now we're going to break some records. <laughs> Yeah, so I bought a new PSU and uh, the eBay seller left a rel religious themed positive review on my eBay profile. I don't know how to interpret that. Maybe somebody else has an idea of what that means. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's apply some clocks. Um, yeah, very finicky this setup. I Maybe I need to, I don't know. Oh, so the other aspect of getting this running is, I'll I'll wait until we're in um, we're in OS. But the other aspect is getting Crossfire running. So in the default setup, so with the driver just recently installed, superposition the bench any preset of to superposition will not load up all the cards. It doesn't matter if you have a single card Crossfire setup like a two nine five X two or a multi-card, it simply won't load up the second card. And you'll actually quite see quite a lot of scores on HarborBot that are um, subbed as multi-GPU, multi, multi -GPU, but actually uh, are with Crossfire disabled. Now, there's always been, I, I think SLI is similar, but there's always been a bit of an area of confusion with Crossfire. Um, probably SLI too, where I don't, so yes, see, see how you have enabled three GPUs that essentially doesn't mean all that much. It means that at least the tr drivers actively, I mean, the dr basically on a driver level, Crossfire is enabled. That doesn't mean that your workload will, will run um in a crossfire setup um let me maybe just de demonstrate it so let's 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 conjure up a scenario where gpu z shows crossfire enabled but superposition is not loading up all of the cards so the crossfire the the um the mode that I, I'm using here is AFR friendly, or alternate frame rendering friendly. But if I go to default mode, of course, this won't change. You know, I can refresh the tab. It will still tell me that there's three GPUs in the crossfire. And if I run the render test, it will load up all the GPUs. But if I now go into superposition, I'm th I'm thankful actually that they have this um, this GPU indicator in the top right hand corner because otherwise it could get quite tricky. Well, you can always look at the FPS, but you know sometimes you can have a performance slowdown that is crossfire related or VRAM exhaustion related that makes the FPS look like you're not running all cards, but you may actually be loading up all the cards. So it's good to be able to distinguish between the different problems. So now, see in the top right hand corner, there's only one card being displayed. And we, we, we um, in this bench with this preset, we get about 20 FPS per card. So clearly there's 19 FPS is only a single card. Now I should be able to switch it just with, even with the bench on um, because it doesn't sort of kick in until 3D clocks are reached. So if, I, if all I do is change this from default to AFR friendly, 
um, it should load up the cards. So earlier I had another issue. <laughs> so it's like I spent like three or four hours getting a system running at stock, but the um, the bottom card um, and Bilko helped me um, figure out what was going on. Uh, I had the, you can see here how it's two separate, um, two separate cables coming from the PSU. I had it on a daisy chain PSU cable and that actually was enough to OCP um, something, the, the PSU, I guess, at stock but only in superposition. So superposition position is actually during the loading screen is quite a heavy bench compared to let's say time spy. So time spy it would still run. So here we are now with 60 FPS uh, um, approximately and three cards showing on the top. Okay, that out of the way. Now let's see if we can slowly chicken clock our cards up. So let's try 1400 RAM synchronous. And I think I need to set on the top GPU. That might be another trick of how to do crap. Okay, 1400 RAM. And let's try 1125. Uh, that's interesting. So the... That's only one. No, it's it's all it's both cores on the two nine five x two, but it's not the lightning. For some reason, this lightning is having quite a bit of issue with with clocking up. Okay, so lightning should show first. I mean, the Samsung RAM is a dead giveaway as well. Fourteen hundred RAM. Eleven twenty five. Please apply. Okay, so I just need to do, I need to um, chicken clock it basically. Let's just triple check. And I'm using the latest driver. Um, so there I have another story. <laughs> Did you see the the Reddit post about? about them, uh, yes, ending driver support. So we're running, that's good, and we're utilized. So one more thing I want to um, point out, I have frame pacing on now. Frame pacing, if you're unfamiliar, is where Crossfire actually sort of synchronizes the frames between the cards. So if one card, you know, which can happen even at the same clocks in a Crossfire system, you can have one card sort of slowly um, overtaking the other cards in terms of how many FPS it can uh, output, especially if like VRAM memory timings are different and stuff. So right now I have frame pacing on. So the top card, which I assume is the lightning, is actually um, jumping up and down in utilization, whereas the, the two slave cards, or is that politically inc incorrect these days, the two secondary cards are actually pegged at 100. So maybe frame pacing will help me here. But at first find the best clocks and then mess around with some settings. So they're earning support for this this uh, series of cards. I'll put it in the chat as well, just in case. I think that's a bad move. I, I suppose they're sort of gearing up for Windows 11. By the way, if anyone asks Windows 11, it's gonna suck ass. So <laughs> it's just a, an excuse to, to um, follow Apple's lead again. Apple doesn't make a new OS in 10 years and then they release a new OS because of of their switch to ARM and then suddenly Microsoft does the same thing. What a surprise, guys. What a surprise. Well, I hope you're all doing fine. I'm struggling a bit in, in lockdown, but can't complain too much. Um, I have to say, first of all, Maybe if I wasn't so lazy, I should re-block some of the car these cards because we're, with the chiller set to 20, 50 under load, 50 Celsius under load is a bit not great. But um, superposition, um, a few different takes. So 
in terms of it getting points on Hyperbot this year as a new thing, I'm totally in favor of it. I think we're starved for a bench that really, really stresses the cards prim primarily. Um, however, they experimented a little bit um, with adding two different presets, and it turns out the presets basically clock the same. So the two presets that get globals are um, 1080p extreme and 8k optimized. And it turns out you can basically clock your cards the same on both presets. So there's no real value added from a benching point of view. And we beat Nazar. So he has a, well, let's just go into um, here. So Nazar has an 85.37 and I have an 85.58. So let's, let's note that down as well. So that was 11.25, 1400, and it was a 64.01 average and an 85.58. Cool, all right. So we've, we've basically already reached our target, but that's all good. We, it's supposed to be a chill out stream. Yes, so different amounts of VRAM. Um, look, I guess, I guess that's an ar good argument, but traditionally um, to have different presets of the same bench get globals, that wasn't enough. You needed to have them also stress the GPUs differently. Okay, so um, all, I just have to always watch out because if I go into the 295X2, it doesn't show Crossfire enabled, which might make the screenshot um, invalid. So I have to go into a card that shows me that the Crossfire is on. I'll use this damn used utility and go into downloads, let's say 8558. No, not a GIF. God, not a GIF. Eight five five eight. Oh, that's all it can say. Well, that might be good enough. Okay, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, let's just check on the USB stick if it really um, saves properly. I mean, my counter question to that is, you know, the absolutely optimal card for four-way superposition is a 1080 Ti setup, and they have eight gigabytes of RAM, which is enough for four for eight K. Um, the absolute best two-way setup is like. 3090 so and and the thing is 8k as well it never was benched enough for it be, to be worth enough hardware points yeah 11 even better you know whatever enough for 8k so you know it just doesn't come into the equation in the end Because all it's ever going to be benched for is globals, not hardware. I mean, I guess single card 2080 Ti and 1080 Ti might might be okay. Might actually give hardware points. Okay, so this the utility doesn't screenshot properly. Okay, so I need to screenshot using Paint, I guess. So the GPU Z utility is not up to snuff. OK, 
Come on, mount my USB stick, please. Okay, that took okay. All right, so next job is going to be to, ah, I should up the power limit here too. Yes, that might be important. Let's let's actually just rerun with with the power limit on its own. Yeah, this is the validation for multi GP. But ugh, look, maybe. Maybe I have too much trust in people, but I really don't think that people are, are faking superposition screenshots. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that in terms of stuff that's been cheated recently, there's been the uh, three micro one world record. There's been way, way back, there was the Simbench 15 covering the rendering uh, cheat. Um, I think there was a Greek guy who faked some X265 runs or something. And there was, um, I don't know, there's the monitor pull in 3 micro 3, but that's sort of easy to, in most cases, easy to see in the screenshot about the info and stats. Yeah, but I mean, it's Unigen, you know, how, ooh, we crossed 70. Very nice. So maybe the power, yeah, I think on a 295X2. So I don't know the most about these cars. I really want to buy another one, but the GPU price, price are still crazy. But um, these cars are basically um, power restricted, VRM restricted, heat, you know, basically anything you can imagine that might hold a card back. Uh, because it's two cards, two cores, and two VRMs and two sets of VRAM all squished together on the same card. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, having a full cover block already does a lot to sort of loosen out the VRM heat issue and the core heat issue and the, yeah, all that. But if I touch the eight pin, it's getting a bit bammy. Yeah, info stats would be nice. Look. Benchmark-wise, what where do we have support? We have Y cruncher support. We have X two six five support. Even though I think Matt has said he kind of wants to drop that bench or maybe not focus on it too much. GPU Pi support. Um, anything that UL does. In the past, there was XTU, but everything else we're basically running on borderline unsupported stuff. Sorry to say. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, as you probably all know, lockdowns are not are, are not fun. Uh, restricting what you can do in your life. Uh, you end up... So this room is like my working from home room. So I, I just... I find it very hard to motivate, my, motivate myself for benching. I really only um, bench now to, to prepare streams. I, I mean, eight, five, six, two. That was only four more points, but we'll take it. Yeah, but you know how it is. It's kind of like games these days, right? Like, even games that don't have pay to play, games that are just you pay for them once, a lot of the time the support drops off even before all the bugs are patched out and stuff. I mean, I don't mean literally all the bugs, but the bugs that I would you know consider sort of cr critical. Okay, let's let's continue in this vein where we clock the cards top down. I think that works better than clocking the the ma the lightning up first. No, no, it doesn't doesn't like that for some reason. Okay, let's do um, 25 megahertz increments. 
Yeah, that's the joke of it, isn't it? So in, in um, Country Cup last year, we had a dual GPU stage of superposition and they had to change it from validation link required to not required because <laughs> nobody could validate a damn validation file. So yeah, I think I might, since there's four more weeks of this, I think this time start is good. I don't know if anyone watching has uh, some sort of opinion about maybe doing the stream a, an hour earlier or an hour later or something, but this time slot for me works well. So I might do, might actually just put that in my schedule, um, you know, 7 p.m. local time every Friday night. I think that's good pacing. What I don't get about this board, if anybody else has a clue, it seems to, every time you do a hard reset, it seems to clear the CMOS for no fucking reason. It's not a reset based on, an, or, you know, if it was a, a failed CPU overclock, fair enough, but hi, Palzen, how are you doing? But it's not. So I don't really get why you have to reload the bias profile. Let's do it. If you could buy three GPUs, you could buy a license. Well, I don't mind that. I, I have, um, let's go on the record here. Uh, for, for purely, really 100% for benching purposes, I have bought a VR Mark license, a PC Mark 7 license, I think, before it went free to play, a PC Up Mark 10 Express, uh, license, um, uh, 3D Mark 11 license before that went free to play, um, a regular 3D Mark license, the Time Spy upgrade, which I don't think was very much, um, a Ge Geekbench 3 license, a Geekbench 4 license, a Geekbench 5 license, and a Superposition license. And I'm probably leaving something out there. So that's, um, I really have no problem dropping. 10 or 15 bucks for for something okay so let's do 14.25 come on all right let's just Double check all our clocks are applied. Now something didn't, the second card on the 295X2 didn't apply it seems. Waking up at 13 p.m. drinking coffee and chilling watching stream. That's cool. Damn it. Eleven twenty-five, fourteen twenty-five. Apply, save. Okay, that seems good. Got a lot of people tuning in. Welcome, welcome. I'm drinking one standard drink right now. It's literally called that. <laughs> it's by um, an Aussie brewery made in Australia. Okay, so we've got Ginger, White Shark, Dark Rare, Palzin, Shmomo, and then some other people, new people on the stream. Welcome to you all. Hope you have fun. Energy drink? No, it's a beer. It's um, 8 p.m. here, so no need anymore for uh, energy drinks. Well, I don't drink energy, energy drinks in, in general, but um, it's a little bit early for that. Anyway, on a Friday night, I like my beer. 
So now the interesting thing is we have the middle GPU fluctuating in utilization. We can, um, let's find the top, top first, but um, this is interesting. So 66 average, it's looking nice. So uh, I toggle tessellation on and off earlier. I got like two points out of it or something. So that's probably within the margin of error. Man, I feel a bit, I feel a bit out of um, out of the benching game. The fact that I can't get LN2 right now, I think I guess I could do. Um, I could do, since it's considered an essential service because my supplier supplies um, uh, doctor's practices and stuff as well, I could do um, contactless LN2 delivery, but I don't really want to leave my um, doer sitting out on the street, maybe getting stolen or whatever. I got a I got a new mouse by the way for like working from home. So this is the the MX five eighteen reboot, but I have the OG here too on my bench rig. I have look at that. That's why I bought it. This is this this mouse is like fifteen years old. I have to say the new one. Um, it's got um the clickless mouse wheel, which I like, and it's a bit lighter. Um, but yeah. So it looks like we might have an improvement here. Not by much though, because the later scenes lower the average FPS generally. Uh, I hope I didn't forget about my... So I got a bit better. Wow, Djokovic lost. Am I seeing that right? <laughs> I, I, I have to be um, I have to be very careful about showing that because that's copyrighted content but yes I think uh, Djokovic lost to Zverev my man Zverev although although we will have to mention Yes, he won. One six six three six one. See, I, I'm originally German, so this is doubly good for me. Doubly nice. Um, a German beating the most hated player in all of tennis. I don't know anyone who likes Djokovic, actually. Anyway. Anyway, let's get back to, to benching. Uh, let's take... Uh, so, we've got to get... So, what was I running there? I was running 1125, 14.25, 64.21, 85.85. Let's screenshot it. Let's screenshot it. <laughs> I just texted a friend and he's uh, replying in all caps because he's so unexpected for world number one to, to lose to Zverev. Okay, let's, let's screenshot this crap. I need to switch this. All right. So it's eight five eight five. But 
we didn't have the power limit tweak. Okay. Let's try higher. Let's try 11 nice <sighs> can you i'm sorry to keep harping on about this but imagine for a second olympic gold for germany in tennis in men's singles what the goddamn hell imagine that happened that would be freaking magical um ooh, we're starting to see a few little um glitches there okay uh let's lower my chiller by a few degrees and reboot the system tennis at the summer olympics here we go so it existed way way back in the day but where's the modern oh okay 1984 before i was born was the last time germany won steffi graf so lady so there's never been a men's singles german winner at olympics in tennis holy shit i'm excited guys i'm excited what is this goddamn summary about though because best nation west germany like what does that even mean where's um Is there no breakdown by like Oh, here we go. Men singles. Murray, Murray, Nadal, Masu, Kefelnikov, Agassi, Rosset, Metcher, Vincent Richard. Oh, these are the old ones. Okay, so it's been there since eighty eight. Did it skip a few? No. Okay. Yeah, man. Best news I've heard in a long time. It's time for my next beer soon. Let's um, first start a run. Now, we, we can still push um, core volts. Let's just, let's just do that. 11.50 at... Let's do plus 50. I mean, this guy wouldn't, shouldn't need it, but we can just keep it all in sync. Yeah, okay, let's just double check our clocks. Okay, if I don't see massive artifacting, I'm getting, I'm getting a beer.
PSUs are such an underrated part of benching. I'm finding it really hard to find a good one. I wish um, the the ones Alan uses, the Max Tyan, the Enermaxes, were were full on retail in in Australia. I'd grab I'd grab one or two. All right, still loading. No, oh, the bar has moved. Oh, looks good. All right, beer time. Okay, that really looks better now, doesn't it? Um, so, this is a Reckless Brewing Pale Ale. Cheers. Temps, yeah. What's with that third card? I'm guessing the first two cards displayed here. So this is not GPU Z order because in GPU Z you have the matrix first, I think, because that's the display card. But here you have the 295X2 first, and the set. And be, I'm just good judging by the temperatures because there's such a big delta. You've got one card at 46, one at 51. That's clearly the same card. Sorry, one core, one core at 46, one at 51, that's the same card, and then a separate card with at 34. Average of 67 right now, that's good. Anyone on here? So I think I was talking about LN2, yeah. I I could potentially get LN2, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do anything non-essential. I don't want to be part of the cause of this lockdown being extended more. Um, so that's sort of, I mean, there's a few different things going on, but um, part of the reason my benching motivation is low at the moment is because I spend so much time in this room anyway for working from home. Um, and then the other aspect is what am I really working towards if I don't have LN2 access? It's funny, there's people who are sort of the opposite who love the pre-testing and then only LN2 bench something when it's really, really a good chip or a really, really a good card. Uh, so this is a 65 average. Nice. Now the question sort of becomes how, I have two questions. Is 9,000 feasible? And, okay, so, well, maybe let's point out a few things. So the algorithm, basically every point you gain in terms of benchmark points refle is reflected in more globals because you can see the diff here so third is at 30 globals and then second is at 60 globals and that is a function of the fact that there's quite a big gap in terms of benchmark points. So essentially, by upping my score, the closer I get to 9,284, the closer to 60 globals, 64 globals I get. So there's tons of motivation to continue benching this because I'm actually basically gaining globals with every point of benchmark points. Um, but my question becomes, so I've beaten the Zyra quite a bit, but is, let's say, 9,000 realistic? And I don't think 9,284 is realistic somehow. I'd have to really find the right driver and everything. But that's okay.
I'm I'm perfectly content with with the spot I'm currently at. This is uh, exceeding expectations, I would say. What did I get? 8739. Right. I mean, we can keep upping it. So just to note down our score. So that was 1150, 1425 with a uh, plus 50 millivolt. And that gave me 6537. Ooh, a frame, a frames gain with just 25 core. It's definitely scaling better with core than with memory. Okay. Let's rerun, boys and girls, men and women of the audience. Oh, so um, <laughs> once again, off topic, but um, watch an amazing movie called Inside by Bo Bur Burham. Yeah, Bo Burn. Burnham. It's on Netflix. 8.8. .8. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. Probably, probably, mm, like I'm in my top three movies of the last like 15 years. <laughs> it's not even an exaggeration. Seventy FPS at the start there. That's nice. So okay, what else have I got to say about this bench? So I think the visuals of the bench are nice. I think the kind of heaviness of the bench is good. It it doesn't. It's not one of those insanely light benches, but it's not one of those insanely heavy benches either. The um, tweakability of the bench is quite good. Um, the the runtime I quite enjoy the way that you've got stats in the bench and stuff. There's a lot to like, guys. There's a lot to like. How do I edit my damn schedule on Twitch? <sighs> I keep moving this crap around. <laughs> Oh, whatever. I'll do it once I'm offline. Things are progressing nicely here, guys. So it feels like we're also sort of in a bit of a, like a summer break. 
benching wise though because there's not much being not being benched anymore really no oh, Arsan Nino did a Cinebench R20 score interesting 1.76 32 core nice We're getting closer to the 9,000. I'm liking it. This is good. This is um, this is progress, as they say. So 11.75, 14.25 with a plus 50, 66.52, 88.93. Sweet. Well, let's just keep going then. What's to stop us? Oh, the bench will show it anyway, won't it? I'm just trying to avoid the big load time without... Um you know, while making a mistake. Not sure what you mean by performance mod. Um, tessellation doesn't make a difference in superposition. I turn it off anyway, just out of habit, in case I want to do a quick like time spy run later on or something, but it doesn't do anything in this bench. I mean, it might do something very, very small, but Nothing significant. Uh, so some while ago, I um, sent some dead or semi-dead cards okay that's a complete no-go um maybe i can go up to plus 100 millivolts texture filtering quality performance okay i was unaware of that thank you i'll, I'll try that straight away um so i was sort of um trying to reduce my stock of cards especially because i don't do that much 3d benching so i sent um, a dead 780 classified, a dead 780 Ti kingpin, a dead 5870 lightning, and I think a direct CU, like a 580, GTX 580 direct CU to Shaggy SVK. Uh, do I still have the PM? Maybe I can just go, I don't want to show any like personal info, but if I scroll to the right thing, Yes, here's the picture. So I can just show you this picture. This is the this is the pack I sent. So we have Oh, yes, that's right. It's the dead 7970 lightning as well. So 7970 5870 lightning 780 Ti um kingpin 780 classified and a 580 direct CU, I think. So this is probably going to turn into an e-power. I think this is a dead, 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 dead card. 780 Ti, 
highly degraded. I don't know what the previous owner did with it. Uh, this will do 2D clocks, um, but it would always just fail to boot on uh, driver install. This one, no display out, probably just an e-power. And then the 780 classified has a good core. They um, reballed it. Um, so Shaggy and Ground together. Let's see if I can still scroll back to it in the Discord. Uh, where's hardware? Ah, where's hardware repairs? Here we go. Shouldn't be that far back. So this is the... The official hardware bot Discord, in case you didn't know about it. Man, this channel is much more active than I thought it was. I think it was around this area. Yes, that's the card working, I think. Yes. And then, yeah, I think this is all I had to do was reball this one memory I see. So well done, Ground and Shaggy, and I'm glad I was able to pass on some pieces of hardware to someone who is more able to res resurrect them than me. For me, they just turn into cool paperweights. So, so I think, I think twelve hundred is quite adventurous on a two nine five X two. But we can try eleven ninety. Eleven ninety plus fifty max power limit fourteen twenty five is it? Yeah, much better than throwing them into the trash. So let me, if, if this run starts, I'll, I'll start another story time, basically. Uh, so that's, that's why I didn't throw them out. I mean, they're nice the XOC cards, you know, but uh, I'm just not finding myself doing a lot of 3D benching and certainly not a lot of um, hardware modding. I'm just not into that part of, benching so much so i'm sort of reducing the number of cards that i have lying around that that need a hardware mod or whatever and um i put up a um message on the overclock.net team discord saying i had a bunch of xoc cards that are in various states of deadness and um that i was willing to let them go just for the cost of shipping i think shipping ended up being like 40 euro something like that to slovakia and uh, I think that was a good deal for both of us, kind of. I wanted to make some space, but didn't want to throw them out. And for him, I'm obviously, even just a repaired 780 with um, the current G inflated GPU price is probably worth more than 40, to 40 euros. So that was cool. Okay, so I'll do the, I'll try these clocks first, and then I'll do texture filtering performance next. Oh, we're scraping the um, 70 FPS. A little bit of artifacting going on there. And I just find that GPUs are such time sinks. It's almost like to knock out like three scores with 40 hardware points each on a good chip is like an afternoon's work. To do the same thing with a GPU, you, it might take you two weeks. Nah, that won't recover. Let's just do a fresh boot.
Uh, still try plus 100. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do 1190 at plus 100 core. And then maybe we move on to tweaks only, or maybe we do just a little bit more memory tweaking. So Bilko is saying 1.35 V-Core is kind of the limit of what the card will do before it, the card itself like OVPs or OCPs. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. So I'm thinking next stream, if I can get it organized in time, is uh, going to be a big, um, like, um, big Haswell stream. Smooth sound of speaker. Not sure what's what's happening. PIP, what does that stand for? Come on board. So I'll apply apply plus a hundred first, see how much that shows me in terms of V core on the um GPU Z censoring tab. VDDCI, VDDC is, well, that's, uh, let's go, okay, let's go primary GPU plus 100 um, and do a non full screen render test. That's showing 1.188. Okay, I think that should be safe. So next. We go plus 100 here. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, I actually really like the fact that the <laughs> motherboard speaker is enabled by default on EVGA boards, but in general, EVGA boards can be a bit not great in terms of bias support and stuff like that. Hey, Kix, Kixi, sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Kixi Papux. Kixi, I'll just call you Kixi. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Kicks is enough. And we're just doing a little bit of um, three-way GPU benching, and it's fun. So we've got our um, two and five X two on a on a block down here, and then a two ninety X matrix XP bias. No XP bias on this board. Um, oh, you mean on the ah? That just straight up rebooted. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I'll do the tweak next. Um, yeah, the, so the the dark doesn't have KB Lake X support, and the only way you can get XP on X two nine nine is with KB Lake X. So no XP support on this board. But I know what you mean about the you know Z three ninety Z four ninety Z five ninety darks having XP support. Yeah, such a shame. I I I would uh, imagine this should be 16x 3.0 and 16x 3.0. I don't know why it's defaulting that to that. Must be a side of the effect, side effect of me running the lightning in the top slot. It's a shame.
Uh, okay, this is a little bit of an issue. Let's maybe um, boot in with just bias defaults first. Hopefully it's not stuck in some sort of weird driver state where I have to uninstall the driver. Could happen. Maybe I have to re-image, but I don't have... Damn it, I haven't imaged this SOS. Hopefully not. I mean... Doesn't make any CPU doesn't make any difference in this bench. Let's try a straight boot. Got our spinning balls. That's a good thing, I guess. Okay, I just need a little bit of a breather. Um, now let's reboot and apply our profile, then apply the previous overclock with the texture filtering mod. And then we can start pushing maybe 25 megahertz of memory at a time maybe try frame pacing on and off, do a little bit of system memory overclocking. Oh, it didn't, okay. Well, I, I need to hit the delete button. It's sort of <laughs> required here. It's kind of quite a cool um, motherboard, it has um, these little LEDs to show whether a car has been recognized or not and whether a RAM stick has been recognized or not. And just the placement of them is quite good. Yeah, they do some interesting things with the VGA um, biases, how they um, have that OC robot and they have um, triple bias and they have more save slots than the average bias. I think both Gigabyte and Azus have eight slots and I think here it's like 10 or 16 or something. Okay, I'm seeing an 04 postcode for some reason. Don't know why that would be the case. Been using this profile all night, so. Let's try that again.
See, that's all I'm applying is just t turning off hyperthreading, applying a couple of voltages. Yeah, the beeps are good. I've got the 90 degree 24 pin as well. That's, that's pretty sweet. Active cooling on the VRM. So that applied. Ooh, why is it EE -E now? All right, maybe we need to just boot up with, with bias defaults. Let's see what we get. I got my first shot last week, actually, exactly a week ago. Um, I was pretty, I had a bit of a fever for a day, day and a half, but um, all good now. As expected, a few side effects. It's almost like if you don't have them, it <laughs> means it didn't work, which is not a good, I, like that's not a good feeling to have, I would, I would say. Hang on 36. These, this, that, it, I'm just going to clear bias. I hope none, none of the cards have slipped from their, their socket, like their slots or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think my um, my loop is in the best shape. That's probably part of the reason why we, I have bad um, thermals. Okay, so we have a beep. I'm not going to play anything. I'm just going to go into into the OS and that's that. That's the annoying part of it is both the OS and the board have these weird auto recovery um mechanisms and it's like i don't want either of those to kick in but sometimes they both kick in in sequence and that's not not a good place to be when you just want to bench let's do it or maybe not Nah, it. If there was any issue with the cards, then it would be um, it wouldn't even post. Alright, skip that. All right.
let's first find the setting in the driver. So it's texture filtering performance. Ah, but I actually want 11.75 because that's what the run was. Seventy-five, 11.75, 11.75, 11.75, and do we have quad crossfire? indicated yes we do so the run we're trying to beat was a 66.52 points Yeah, we're in a bit of a lull um, benching wise. I mean, there's no new hardware coming out to excite us either. I mean, Alder Lake is going to be, I don't know, with the supply issues and things, it's hard to say. I guess October, November, a very uneducated guess. And I mean, that's 14 nanometer down to 10 nanometer with a new architecture. So that's nothing to sneeze at, but <clears throat> people's, people's expectations of Intel are low and you've got your big little challenge or problematic to, to contend with as well. And then AMD, even Zen 3 Plus is sort of not a thing anymore, is it? It's just interesting. Um, I thought they were going to stopgap things with, uh, you know, Zen 4 coming March at the earliest. Oh, that's looking reasonably fast. Oh, recent tech radar. One day ago. So the chip, oh, they're doing the same thing that they did with Z Z590. Chipset coming before the actual arc. La, la, la. Q4, so like Christmas, basically, I think is, is, is the takeaway from that. K and KF, that's good. I like KFs. They keep the price down a bit. It's going to be HNB chipsets. Enthusiasts first. That's fine. That's that means we get our twelve nine hundred K and KFs. I guess PCI five point oh. All right. Let's look up the juiciest video cards dot com rumors. They're always always fun to think about. I could watch this bench all day. This is fun. All right, so what have video cards been talking? Lovelace, yeah, so it's almost like the GPU market is hotter than the CPU market at the moment, even though neither are hot, actually. 
Ooh, the 6600 XT is out. You know, great. Some server chips. So help me with, with process on the GPU side. On the CPU side, obviously, I'm quite clued in. Uh, ooh, I don't think that score is necessarily... Oh, it is a bit faster, isn't it? So we had, yes, 8893. So thanks, Dark Gregor, for that, that tip. That indeed did seem to help. So that was a 6672, 8920. So we've got to try and go for the 9000, right? I mean, <laughs> so close, 80 points. And that's even with the CPU overclock not applied, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, with hyper threading still on. <laughs> okay. Um eight nine twenty. So what can we do? Let's let's start try forty five um, fourteen fifty again. Yeah, win plus print screen. Okay, so on the on the GPU side, so on obviously on the CPU side, Intel stuck on fourteen nanometer, going to ten nanometer next generation, and then maybe seven, the generation after. Um, AMD on seven, going to five quarter one two thousand and twenty one. But on the, and uh, in terms of process, Intel on its own process, obviously, and AMD on TMC, TSMC. On the graphics card side, AMD is on TSMC 7 nanometer as well. I don't know when, is RDNA 3 already on 5? Help me out, guys, I don't know. And then uh, NVIDIA, and anticipating the supply issues, went with Samsung 12 or 8, was it 8? Is that what the 3000 series is on? Eight nanometer? I mean, it's all it's all marketing ling lingo anyway, but I think it's Samsung's age, isn't it? But now, so Samsung's, let's let's just call it eight. Whatever, whatever the 3000 series currently is on is not as dense as TSMC seven, but five is out. So Apple is already using five. And there's rumors now to suggest that the very next generation of Nvidia will be on five. TSMC 5, so basically sort of two densities denser than what they're currently on and already market leader on, uh, except for Firestrike Extreme. That's a, that's a bencher's joke. <laughs> yeah, so interesting. So 100%, not sure if N5 or N5P, I don't think it really matters all that much. N5 is what Apple uses with their current M1 laptops. So that's pretty nice. SEC. TSMC or SEC. What's SEC? SEC um, Foundry? Oh, just Samsung Electronics. Okay. This is kind of nice. It's Texas Instruments. Look at all this manufacturing in Taiwan.
What's the newest fab? Japan, Japan, China, Taiwan. So 68.5. I don't know if this will even score higher, but always nice to um, have higher clocks. We can go down to maybe 10, uh, 10 megahertz steps on the, on the core just to get, well, that would have maybe even the five megahertz steps. No, I'll, I'll uh, disable frame pacing next and see what happens. Hi, D Tyrant Dino. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Three-way 290. That's a crash. Okay. Um, let's do frame pacing next. Actually, an interesting topic would be Team Cup. Um, I th think it's out. Yes. So a little bit of a different for format this year. In past years, usually Team Cup has been broken down by DDR1, 2, 3, and 4. And then with 2D and 3D stages inside of those categories, now we have um, AMD, Intel, and and then AMD GPUs, NVIDIA and GPUs, memory and IGP. What's the memory benchmarks actually? Okay. So it's just four memory frequency stages. Oh no. DDR1, okay, let's, let's get a run out first. Um, let's maybe first do, five megahertz steps on the core, and it was Let me just double check since we had a crash that um, our texture setting is still applied. It's all good. Just double check our clocks. So 1180. 1425, 1180, 1425. It's good. Let's get a run out. Does anyone remember the, the movie Burn After Re Reading? And I can't remember which character it was, but there's, um, so it's a Co Coen Brothers movie, right? And there's um, a George Clooney character in there and a Brad Pitt character. And one of the two of them even though all this weird stuff is happening in the movie and they should really be focused on whatever is happening, once they sort of finish a conversation or there's like a natural break in conversation, this character will say, oh, I've still got time to get a run out or something along those lines and then it'll cut to that guy having a jog. I don't know. For some reason, whenever I say on a stream, oh, let's get a run out, I, I, can, <laughs> I remember the Burn After Reading movie. Seems random, but anyway, so what I want to know is AMD. What are the AMD stages? So we've got Cinebench 2003 DDR1, 
265 DDR2, that could be interesting. I have a, a LAN party board that will do nicely there. CPU profile, three max CPU profile max, that's the new UL benchmark, DDR3. And then Cinebench per, per core. Okay, that's pretty standard stuff. What about Intel? W prime DDR1. PC Mac 10 Express on DDR2, that sounds painful. So the same Cinebench, but in DDR4, 3 and Geek, Geekbench 5. Okay, pretty like tame sort of benches, nothing too wild, nothing too off the walls. So AMD GPU, I might be able to contribute here. Um, just DDR1 on any card. Shader Model 2, 3 Mac 06. For memory, what's the last card? Uh, I'll have to go to the stage, what the exact restrictions are. 4,000 series, okay. I have a few 4,000 series, but I've never benched them. Uh, Kazilla 4K, that's painful. Time Spy DDR4, nice. Uh, Nvidia, I probably don't have that much. Yeah, Geekbench 5. <laughs> why, what, why, what the fuck? Okay, 3 Mark 99 again. 05, 05 DDR2, that's gonna be LJ775, isn't it? And then uh, Night Ray DDR3, more dollars. Oh, 700 series, I don't, I mean, I could run my 770. Fire Strike, what's the iGPU stages? Intel HD graphics, no thanks. AMD APU DDR3, ooh. I've got some nice 6800Ks sitting around. Okay, that, that might be an LN2 stream. Skydiver, all out on a 6800K on like a gigabyte UP4 board. What's, what's not to like? What's not to like? Superposition on DDR4, nitrate, okay. I'm impressed, League. I'm impressed. Almost done now, and we're, what was our last score? We had a 66.7. It's not gonna drop to, uh, scene 16 out of 17. Can't believe it. Okay. Let's um, disable frame pacing. That's a shame. Oh, my loop is at 21 degrees. I'll turn on the second um, chiller, actually. I think the chiller is just not coping with these repeat runs. I'm getting old. Okay, so I had a single 500 watt chiller on the three cards. Well, it's on the CPU too, but the CPU doesn't really put, mu put much load out. I thought that would be okay, but I just glanced down after a run that went almost all the way and the water temp was 20 degrees, even though it's set to 16. So it was running constantly and still not able to keep up. So now I have Second 500 watt chiller on a separate power board, also set to 16 degrees, and maybe that will make the difference to like pass those last couple of uh, scenes there.
All right, both chillers are running. We'll see it in the monitoring in the in the bench anyway. Clocks are applied. Let's do it. And once this run starts, I'll just leave it on the screen and just take a little break. But um, yeah, very successful stream so far. I'm. I'm pleased. So what have I run on the 295X2? I thought I put up a few scores. Yeah, okay, I did an, uh, an extreme run. 1190, 1575. Weird. In a crossfire config, it seems to be much harder to to clock up these cards. Fifteen seventy five is good for a two ninety five x two. That's for damn sure. All right, let's get this run kicked off. That's where the unmute button is. Okay, um, so it hasn't crashed yet. But the FPS looks bad. Does it does it recover later on in the run? I don't really get it. The the clocks are the same. Utilization looks alright. Weird. And it's hanging. Okay. Um, all right. Let's not try and squeeze the last megahertz out of this thing and instead go back to 1175 and um, dis disable frame pacing. Maybe I'm actually sh sort of short a uh, pump or something because I'm still not really seeing the temperatures drop as much as they they need to, or they should with two chillers on there. I really want that nine thousand, but I don't I don't know how realistic it is at this point. Copy that score over for extra peace of mind. And back into the driver. All 
Okay, brain pacing is off. Let's have, look, have a look at the four-way. What, what have people actually run? Ah, somebody went to the trouble of running 1080 ties. Look at that. Yeah, totally destroyed. And I already have a score in with 279.90s. Interesting. What about 8K? Funny that the people running 1080 Ti four-way didn't just pull one card and just get the global first as well. I don't really get it. Ooh, I don't have any three-way results at all. That looks fast. That's hanging around over the 70. I still have that utilization bug, but I'd like to see this run finish. Interesting. The race is in degrees on the chillers. That's that's also interesting. Hmm. Not looking so incredibly fast anymore, but how's everyone else's country doing in the Olympics? I know um, Ginger's country is doing well. What is it? Just halfway through and Australia already has something like two or three goals more than the entire other last Olympics in Rio. So what you can see as well as how the FPS are sort of like peaking at a hundred. So maybe that just like the way it just jumps up and down like that gives a better overall average FPS. Interesting. I mean, it obviously moves around a lot, but it seems like there's even 140 FPS being displayed sometimes just for an instant.
Scene 16, still averaging 67.9. Okay, maybe we even got an entire FPS out of this. 67.6, okay, not quite. 5, 4, this is where it drops off. Scene 17 is heavy. 67 flat, 66.9. Hmm, still got a nice few points out of it. So here's the comparison. Uh, plus text, plus, uh, let's just call it FP. And that's a 66.93, 89.48. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's do a um, core overclock just for shits and giggles and see how that, that goes. Um, Okay, 47, here we go. 47 on all the cores. Haven't changed anything else. So has anyone run this um, UL CPU profile stuff? I think uh, Ginger, you've you've done it, haven't you? I need to try it out. Is it is it going to be ranked by um, core count? I wonder. Max threads sixteen eight four. Yeah, I, I suppose it should be. All right, this is going to be interesting. I should run like a basic system memory overclocked next as well. Hmm. You've certainly got a, a particular style of um, UI, haven't they, UL? UL benchmarking.
Yeah, Lumi. Tag. A lot of tag in there. I'm just looking at um, 32 M's done this year. Parikas was good. So 577 Sandy. How much how much of that is just BCLK? So 18. <laughs> 105. Yeah, that's typical. A lot of chips will do that. It's been a lot. Now let's um let's go hardware goals only. Look at all those tag scores. Some some locked sandy and ivy. Hmm. We're on scene thirteen. I don't know if this is gonna be faster. But the frame pacing did seem to help. Hmm, scene 16. What's that apparatus there supposed to even be? Is it like a time machine or what? 669? So it's actually six points less than the previous run. Okay, let's... Um... Ooh, the other thing we can do is a mesh overclock. So somebody earlier asked about CPU overclocks. Apparently they don't really do much, do they? Uh, let's go 30 mesh. Okay. I missed that. Did Griff get the global first for a single core in 4K? January. Okay, that's some time ago. But that's that's yeah, that's pretty. This is this is a nice sub to look at. You've got your um. Oh, even that's very interesting. Um, sort of uh, blue tacking down your your courses into the slot. Yeah, the 787s, 1866s, nice. But it was single, Cascade on, yeah, Cascade on CPU, single stage on the uh, RAM, and then a, a Delta fan to keep the North Bridge happy. 635 on air North Bridge through a 28 minute bench. That's That's nice, that's nice. If only I could ever find a good, oh, first of all, a good third DDR3 775 board, and then a, an L3014, which is really, really, really rare. Really rare. Whew. So 
so over the 70. A 70 average would be pretty sweet, but that would require quite a bit of more juice. Gravity flux capacity, okay. I'm guessing five nanometer for RDNA version three. I mean, seven would just be not ideal at all. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You know, I haven't looked at the world records page in a while. I can't ever see this one falling. It's so interesting. Everything else, you know, swaps hands every year almost. But 8.7. I think the good sort of retail chips on full pot and then two, if you really, really tweak the shit out of them, it can do sort of 8.3, 8.4. That's just a guesstimate, but 8.7, that's, that's an entire multiplier higher. That's insane. I think 01, 01 will fall. I mean, the new architecture is so, so good. Uh, we got a few extra points. Um, our last run was, uh, Okay, it's just two extra points. Not that exciting. But we'll screenshot it. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, let's whip our memory into shape. Just the basic uh, 1.8 VDIM 3600 C12 type thing. And maybe just, should I boot 4.7? That doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, maybe if with hyper-threading off, let's give it a go. Hyper-threading off 4.7 at 1. 275 or something All right, it's 1.3 Where am I? Oh, I have to go from automatic to manual, right? Uh, that's, yeah, that design isn't great. It wipes your VDIM and memory multi again. So 12, 12, well, 12, 28, 1T, the most basic thing ever. And I don't like that either. Uh, 65,000. Oh. Even 350 is fine. Please apply.
FSE. That's an interesting one because the current generation of cards don't do four way anymore. How, the, okay, here's a really interesting thing. What score can you get out of a two way 3090 FSE setup? It's not an interesting, that's not an easy answer even. Okay, so FSE 31.6 and then two way. Oh, there's no one's run it. Okay, that's a hang. Um, I can do mesh and CPU multi in in OS, I guess. Um, so that's a maxed out is thirty one point six forty nine. It's okay. Let's let's do some sort of a proxy where we look at the scaling single card to quad in the 1080 ti in terms of percentage and then apply that to 3090 um to dual though okay so we need to look at single to dual scaling and then compare that applied to 3090 versus quad 1080 ti's okay so we've got 36 Yeah, just auto. Thirty six point three goes to dual will be an LN two score as well. Fifty one point three. One point three divided by thirty six point three. I think that's the math. So we've got a forty one percent scaling. thing is single isn't even what the hell why is mm. why is single so bad i don't get it oh i'm looking at oh god i'm looking at regular fire stack so 20 versus 33.3 so it's 60 a 1.666 recurring so 31 590 multiplied by 1.6666 52.6 yeah okay Why am I having green screen? So, okay, so a, a dual 3090, a theoretical dual 3090 um, FSE score on LN2, even on a 7980XC rig would, would beat this overall FSE world, world record. If my theory cracked, crafting is correct. Funny that the superposition record is so old. Is that really true? The hell? Okay, let's do it this way. Let's literally just apply memory on its own. Ooh, do we maybe need, we need max mem, don't we? What if we do like 1.7? Okay, so that was actually a, a, totally a max mem issue. Let's do 1.7.
So what does it consider to be the world world record in this case? 18, oh, okay, so it's a 1848. So what is it a, what is it even set with for 1080 Ti's? Which makes sense, 6950X, that's still plenty fast enough. All right, so this is gonna to have to be a, a two-step process where we apply maxima, make sure the score isn't screwed, and then um, apply memory overclock. Two gig per stick, so maybe a, or, mm. Now, please clear the damn CMOS. Blue screen. <laughs> ah, I kind of miss the overclocking TV. Um, live streams. Frog accent. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. And it would be offensive for me to try, I think. All right. So cleared CMOS into the, the blue <laughs> screen. <laughs> That's a good written impression, actually. Uh, let's apply our max mem. Maybe it's 27k. Yeah, now we just maybe quickly apply the clocks and do a run, make sure we hit about 70 at the beginning there and then reboot, apply the memory overclock. Yeah. It's kind of trying to do too many things at one, once there. Okay, so available mem, we have a lot. Uh, all we need to do is just apply. Ooh. Cool. It will tell us on the bench anyway. Nice, okay, and then I might, just to be doubly sure, apply the memory overclock on its own, make sure I can boot fine, and maybe go back to stable hyper-threading and apply the multipliers. Yeah, why not, that'll be quick. If only, I mean, the memory bandwidth on these cards is are, is pretty good. I don't really fully understand why the superposition load screen takes so long. I mean, it's it's what it's like a two minute bench. How many textures and things could it truly be loading, especially just in 1080p mode?
All right, so we're starting off with 70. Okay, I think that's that's all I wanted to see. It'll still be interesting to see how this would score on Windows 7. Um, I did quite a bit of testing for the 7990 run I did for Country Cup. I was like, where is it? Here it is. And there I went, ooh, Catalyst 14.12. Must be something sp specific to the 7000 series. Okay, so, enter setup. Load profile. Make sure it's not ridiculous. So, 1.8. I think that's fine. No, I, I I should be able to just hash in the the ratios right here. I think AVX mm, just to be doubly sure. Hyper threading off. Let's do it. I predict a post. Yeah, so quite telling that I ran auto timings 4600 for the RAM. I wonder if that's, I, I was really, I remember it being really, really like close. What's with all these hangs on A2? Oh, it's not hanging. Yes, come on, let's do it. Let's get a run out. Let us get a run out. So we're just trying to beat 89.50. What the hell? Okay, let's keep the multis on auto. After that, I'll go down to like C14 in case this chip has a weak IMC or something. Let's do it. Gotten this far so before. Come on. Yes, okay, so it was the multis. Let's leave it all out there. Let's do 47, 30 mesh. Double check our driver settings. Got our HT off as well, and then that might end up being the last run. Let's 
Skylake like X is notoriously slow at applying multipliers, so let's give it a little bit, and Elite is <laughs> basically contributes to that. Come on, Elite. What a weird name for an InOS overclocking utility. Okay, let's go back. Maybe I need to uh, apply, then quit, then open CPU-Z. It's not gonna open again, is it? Okay, let's do let's do an orderly apply and quit. <laughs> oh damn it, this <laughs> utility. <laughs> Who designed this crap? Okay, so that applied. <laughs> Is there some sort of a service that we can... All right, we won't get a mesh overclock, but I think it's mostly what little difference it makes, it makes in the core and in the um, the RAM anyway, so. Crossfire enabled, all four cards are clocking. Memory is at what it needs to be at. Uh, Hyperthreading off. Let's double check the driver settings. And then we're going for a run. A4 friendly, test is off. Texture filtering on performance. Frame pacing. Let's do it. You can do it. <laughs> Seriously, two hours and thirty eight minutes in, and uh. 
It gives me a, a weird crash like that. Come on. Oh. Do we have a run? This, uh, this um, benchmark is surprisingly heavy on everything, on the GPU, on the CPU, on the memory. I think it, I don't want to say it, but uh, it might be putting unnecessary stress on system components. <laughs> because once the run starts, it's like, this is like UL system info all over again. You know, system info part of the run is heavier than the run part of the run, which, you know, it's a bit nonsensical. Always at that spot. Yeah, that's a straight up hang. I think we're gonna leave it at that. Cheers to you all on a happy weekend. And I'll be posting the score straight away, I think, because it's a big one. And um, I don't know how long it's going to last because anyone who has four 1080 Ti's um, could basically obliterate it. But, you know, it's nice while it lasts. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday.